We are here with uh, Gabriela Muller from the Mexican Institute of Water Technology, and we want to take the opportunity to see how good Tijuana always told us, the authorities in Tijuana always tell, are telling us that they are making a lot of progress in the term of the conservation and the recycling or reuse of water. Are they, how, how is Baja California in general and Tijuana in the Mexican national contest? Well, uh, Tijuana is uh, in a high degree of treatment. Uh, his, uh, his coverage, his wastewater treatment coverage is high compared with the uh, average uh, of uh, Mexico. In Mexico we have around 40% uh, of coverage of wastewater treatment and uh, Tijuana has the highest maybe 90%. Uh, I'm not sure about, about the number but it's very high and uh, uh, also uh, Tijuana has uh, uh, a very high con con consciousness of, of uh, reuse and uh, because they have a lack of water uh, they need to uh, be more efficient with the less water they have and uh, they uh, uh, support reuse very well. They have the purple project but it's very important and uh, this is, excuse me, this is the pur purple project is the one they are reusing water, not for human consumption, but for other different uh, uses. Use, for other different uses. And uh, 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 to support reuse, uh, they have to be sure that the uh, degree of wastewater treatment has to be of the highest quality so uh, they can use it for, for, for that purposes. Have you, how long have you been working with the Mexican Institute of Water Technology? Well, I have been there. Uh, uh, for 15 years, uh, 15 years ago, and uh, I uh, have been in charge of the wastewater treatment area, and now, now uh, for the uh, water treatment uh, and, uh, and the water quality laboratories. Are the Mexicans make, are the Mexicans making progress in this issue? We always talk about this subject, in, not just in Mexico, but in, here at the border, we just have the same problems, and they are about to. Uh, thinking about rationalizing the ration in the water supply for the people in San Diego, for example, one of the biggest, uh, one of the ten largest cities in the U.S. Is this? Are we? Does Mexican making progress? Well, uh, Mexico as a country has been progressing very fast uh, uh, since the last 50 years uh, because we have uh, maybe less than 20 percent uh, wastewater treatment coverage, and in the last 15 years. This has uh, been uh, uh, more, and uh, maybe we have around 40 percent. And uh, as I told you, the border has very high quality uh, coverages. And uh, here, specific in the border, uh, we have to agree with uh, the other side of the border, the U.S., and uh, we need to work together. So uh, we, have, we can have, we have just one river, uh, that we are sharing both, and then we have to to share these, and we have to uh, have uh, maybe the same uh, degree of wastewater treatment. Uh, so that's uh, a, a hard work that we need to do, uh, but we have to do it. Is, is Mexico? I, under, we, I understand that we are in this plan. These facilities are built partly with a Japanese um, loan. Uh, financial assistance from, from Japan. Are we, the U.S. and Mexico, working enough, closely enough to improve the situation for either or for both sides of the board? Yes. Uh, um, we have uh, some supports from EPA also. We have supports from Mexico, from Conagua. We have uh, local support also. And uh, all these uh, shared resources have to be uh, optimized and uh, so uh, they, can, they, can have, uh, they can achieve what they have. No? 
where do you think the efforts need to be put uh, in the Mexican side to improve the, our situation about war? Maybe to have uh, to homogenize uh, the same uh, uh, parameters uh, that uh, we are measuring and uh, uh, to have uh, all uh, the coverage in, in small and big cities as the U.S. has and uh, to sh uh, as we share the same river to share all the problems and maybe uh, to have support from the U.S. when they have uh, solved the problem and uh, the, uh, vice versa. No?